now for Utah's most accurate forecast. Weather rate certified five years in a row. After all of the snow and the cold, feels a little bit like spring might be trying to move back in tonight. The sunset looking very bright. Uh, thanks to Jennifer Bassey for sending that in. Beautiful look at the Ochre Mountains, and you can see the Ochre Mountains. Temperatures outside right now are very mild, but in comparison, Wendover on the West Desert still in that cold pool of air, 25 degrees. It's also cold in the Uinta Basin. Vernal is 25. Price is 28, but everybody else a lot warmer. In fact, look at the high temperatures today. Officially, we made 50 degrees. That's the warmest day of the year. Of course, we haven't had a long time to warm up yet. We're still in the throes of winter, but uh, looked pretty good today. And we had that south wind blowing. Most of the smog is moving north or moving out. Seattle, you, <laughs> they're expecting one to three inches of rain. They're having ice and uh, snow accumulations in the Willamette Valley around Eugene and Salem. They're getting hit hard, and we're seeing a piece of that storm come across northern Utah tonight. It is producing mainly rain in the valleys, but a bit of snow is falling in some of the mountains. Now, let's take a look at the latest on our storm tracker radar. We push it over towards Wells, Nevada, Elko. There are some snow showers on the Pequops and out there towards the Raft River Range. Moving closer to Salt Lake City, we've had some showers. In fact, while I was outside, uh, I did feel a couple of drops, but mostly this is uh, hitting the mountains. We're seeing those showers a little heavier up in Cache Valley, and some of it is falling as snow because the air is colder, and we still have some pollution sitting around Logan and the Cache Valley region. So the expected road conditions in the morning, where you see yellow, that includes southwest Wyoming, parts of the Uinta Basin, and the Wasatch Mountains will have a little bit of snow to deal with. But as you can see on the Pinpoint Futurecast, by Saturday, late in the day, we're going to see all of the precipitation move north. We're going to have a pretty good day for us on Sunday as well. We're right in between storms, so really, after a few showers tonight and tomorrow morning, the rest of the weekend is going to be warmer and drier. But come Monday, here's another storm. Cold front rolls in behind it. Air is cold enough for it to switch over to snow. The question is how much moisture will remain. So I'm expecting a changeover to snow briefly for Monday night and Tuesday morning before this storm rolls on eastward. But as you can see, this will be a statewide storm as it moves through the region. But by Tuesday, uh, will be drying out. But guess what? There's another storm out there for Wednesday and another one on Friday. So a s somewhat active weather pattern persists in Utah. Now the far forecast for snowfall. We'll keep it at one to three inches in some of those northern valleys tonight. Uh, two to four on the Wasatch back, one to two in southwest Wyoming, four to eight in the mountains. And as you'll see on our forecast, oh, let's head up to the recreation areas of eastern Idaho. Now, th we did that road tour, Alana Brophy out there showing you all of these beautiful sights. Alpine will be 33 for a high in Afton, 25. The uh, western side of Wyoming looking great. Yellowstone Park, 21 for a high, and there will be some snow in Yellowstone Park and also in Island Park. If you're thinking about recreating, going north into eastern Idaho and Yellowstone Park, that's the thing to do. 45 in Salt Lake City tomorrow, 51 in Cedar City, 30 degrees in Rock Springs. Kind of a cooler day there for you in uh, Pinedale with some snow falling. Randolph, a little bit of snow as well. Most of that comes in the morning. The afternoon turns out to be pretty good. And temperatures in St. George are going to warm into the 60s this weekend. Really nice weekend. Stay white storm Monday, but the rest of the week these storms stay to the north. So it'll be a partly cloudy weather pattern for most of southern Utah. And the Wasatch Front. I talked about that chance for a shower tonight and tomorrow morning, but really most of tomorrow looking pretty good. Sunday night, Monday into Tuesday morning. This storm will be rain, turning back over to a little snow, heavy snow in the mountains. Wednesday and Friday, more rain in the valley, snow in the mountains, and the smog, say goodbye. Woohoo! Gone. Peace Have out, it. smog. We won't miss you. That's the part I'm paying attention to. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Gone. You can Sorry. breathe again. Yeah. It's nice.